spirit to keep until you return. And if I don't? You will suffer its curse. Time is of the essence. Without medicine, all the magic in the world won't help them.
He practices a lot, but he has nobody to play with him. My word, Dr. Dannett. I hadn't expected to see you in Nafidu for quite some time. The Kandinka are in trouble. Uh, would you care for a drink? No, thank you. Excuse me. How may I help you, Miss Bannett? Well, first, do you have a telephone? Certainly. I want the medical supplies sent here. That's why I want to talk to the minister. I need to talk to him immediately. No, I am in Nefadu. Yes. Grace Dannett. Dannett. D-A-N-E-T. Did you see with him? Yes. Anything ever gets done in this country. A report? Do you want me to go and see if you can I haven't that? got time to send a written report. Hello? Hello? Great. The whole village will be dead in a week, but I have to send a written report for anything to get done. You've got to help me. I'll certainly try my best. Um. Please. A gift from my classmates at Cambridge. So, what are our Aboriginal friends dying from this time? Yellow fever? The common cold? Or just, um, civilization? Cholera. You must understand, Miss Dannett, that the world is changing and that everyone has their particular place in it. My job is not to heal the sick. My job is to stop bandits and poachers from smuggling diamonds. I saw an example of how you do that. Three men hanging from a tree. Don't blame me for that little atrocity, Miss Dannett. It is your country that has forced us into this situation. I've just been... I've just been informed that the only way we can continue to get American aid is by stopping the smugglers and fighting the communists. There aren't any communists around here. Uh, you know that, and I know that. But if your government wants us to send them communists, then I will have to file reports saying that the hills are swarming with them. So my government gets its body count, and your government gets its dollars, and the Kandinko get nothing. A great injustice, I grant you. But it will, no doubt, someday be righted. Yeah, when they're all dead and gone. Ah. I saw a plane outside of town. If I could fly to Rasa and get the medical supplies I need... I'm afraid the next scheduled flight is not for another ten days. Of course, you may get lucky. Um, may I offer you? A little Stilton cheese from Harrods. No, thank you. What about that truck? Who drives that? Trader. Not many have the courage to drive the dirt road back and forth between Nefadu and Rasa. Trader, that's his name? That is what we call him, because he brings food and clothing to the needy. Samuel Marsh is his name. In fact, he's a bit of a saint around here. A saint? Mm. Reverend Marsh, we call him. Do you know where Reverend Marsh is? No, ma'am. Get out of here, you thieving pervert. Don't you come back if you know what's good for you. Don't you mess about with me. You've got three seconds to scram before I get the gun and shoot your flipping frock off. And, uh, what can I do for you? I'm looking for a man. Oh, well, there he goes. You can call that kind of monkey shit a man. No, I'm looking for Samuel Marsh. Is he in trouble again? Not that I know of. Come on up, man. Lieutenant Piggott said that Mr. Marsh was considered sort of a saint around here. Oh, yeah? He's a saint. I'm Princess Di. Well, the hell of the 
goddamn towel. Where they always are, sweetheart. They're not where they always are. I look where they always are. More towels, Mama. Yes, Mom. This is, uh, what's your name, love? Grace Dannett. Well, she'll do just fine. Listen, shuck off those nasty clothes, Grace, and climb in. There's room for everybody. <laughs> I'm afraid you don't understand. Mm -hmm. um, I'm with the Ministry of Health. I've had my shots. What do you want, Grace? Lieutenant Piggott recommended you to me. He said that you help people. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Henry Piggott is a lying hyena, and he's a bad comedian, too. Look, lady. What I am is a truck driver. Well, that's what I'm looking for. I have to get medical supplies. It's a matter of life and death. I need to get to Raza as soon as possible. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. You want me to drive you to Raza in my truck? Please. No, no, no. no. I'll be willing to pay you. Well, usually money is the magic word with me, lady. But right now, even I do not give a shit about the money. I just spent two weeks in that goddamn kidney buster out there. I'm going to be coughing up dust and piss and blood for the next two weeks. Now, what I'm doing right now is I'm getting drunk, see? That's the second thing I do when I get back here. The first thing I do is I take a bath, and then I get drunk, and then I, I get laid, and then I sleep for 15 hours, and then, then I get up and I do the whole routine all over again. It's called therapy. Now, look, why don't you relax? Climb in here, have a nice hot bath and a screw. Hmm? These people are very real to me, and they're dying. Oh, I'm so sorry to have disturbed your sacred ritual. And for your information, right now I'm desperate for a bath and a screw. But I wouldn't screw a foul-mouthed, mean-spirited, drunken pig like you if you were the last man in Africa. Hey, hey, hey! Wait, hey, wait a minute! you are anyway, Albert Schweitzer, huh? I've been here for 12 years, lady. 12 years! What, what, what do you think, you discovered death and disease here in Africa? I'll be at Lieutenant Piggott's this evening, if you change your mind. Change my mind? Change my mind? You're not listening to me, lady! It's 450 miles of dirt road between here and Raza, and I'm not gonna take it, you understand? I told you to get the goddamn towel. I can't drink a glass of whiskey without spilling a drop. That's right. <laughs> and if I do spill a drop, then I gotta bring you uh, five cassette recorders, two dozen Japanese silk suits, uh, three cases of whiskey, what was and a television. It? And a television set, exactly. What the hell do you need a television set for around here? Never mind. <laughs> Henry! Good evening. Watch out for her, she's a lot of trouble. So, do we have a bet? Do we have a bet? Of course we have a bet. What are you, crazy? I'm going to teach you two things right now. Number one, you can't outdeal a traitor. And number two, Samuel Marsh never spilled a drop of whiskey in his life. Pour it. Oh, come on, come on. Fill it up, fill it up. 
We want to make this fair, don't we? <laughs> yeah. All right. Look at that, see? My hand is steady as a rock. My fingers never leave my hand. Nah, not yet. What do you mean, not yet? What the hell is this? They got you this time, Trader. You believe these guys? What do you do? Stay up nights thinking of ways to try to cheat me? I will give up then. No, 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 I don't give up. Of course I don't give up. I just want to think about it for a minute. That's all. Come on, Trader. All right. All right. All right, smart ass. I got gotcha. you. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Down the hack. <laughs> Well done. Me mother. Who is he? A digger. He's of no consequence. I don't know how much I can do for him. Then do what you can. <laughs> Make me not die. Try and lie still. I'm going to give you something for the pain. Who did this to you? The big man. Please make me not die. Lie still. Damn. It's nothing. It happens all the time. Will they come back on? Who knows? <laughs> Mommy, what a tear. Mommy, what? <laughs> what did he say? Nothing. It's gibberish. He's fighting the inevitable. He won't fight anymore. Mm. You should try your meal. Cecilia cooks the best steaks in West Africa. I'm not at all hungry. Hello, Henry. Hello, trader. Well, have you changed your mind? <laughs> no. Have you? Uh, be gentle, trader. She's just seen a wounded man die in her arms. A man who might have been poaching a valuable diamond. <laughs> Well, welcome to Neferdu. Never a dull moment in Neferdu. Right, Henry? Did you kill him? Oh, my. No. Trader is joking, of course. Right. Well... <laughs> well, if you didn't, then the man who did kill him is just about to walk through that door. Aren't you going to arrest them? <laughs> what, and screw up his retirement fund? There is no definite proof. And there never is, is there, Henry? <laughs> well, if you two will excuse me, I have to go conduct some business. You see, I'm... Uh, I'm running guns to the communist insurgents. <laughs> My brother Sam. <laughs> <laughs> it's always a happy day for the big men when you come to Napa. Oh, I figured you'd be hanging from some tree by now, Valentin. <laughs> I have a new arrangement with the police. Oh, yeah? Left hand washes the right and both get clean. <laughs> Did you bring it? Yeah, 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 I brought it. Are they friends? Like the mongoose and the cobra. So when did you start coming to whorehouses, Valentin? Or have you fallen from the faith? You forced me into it somewhere by not coming to my home. Oh, I wouldn't do it for anyone else but you. No, I like to do business with you in public. Very satisfactory. Mm. How much? 3500 Nice, huh? <laughs> and the rest of my money? Expenses. Oh, of course. <laughs> the big man does not begrudge his brother somewhere his profits. Yeah, look, let's get one thing straight between us, all right, Valentin? I may have to do business with you, but I am definitely not your brother. No, no, of course not. That would be too much to ask. It's enough that you accept my money and bring guns to my men. <laughs> I'm leaving now, Mr. Marsh. Oh, well, good night, Doc. Good night. Be careful now. The uh, crocodiles are particularly nasty at this time of night. Yes, I've noticed. <laughs> Who's that? Ah, uh, she's some pill pusher from the Ministry of Health. Oh, um, Sam, I'm afraid all travel permits are revoked for the moment. So sorry. Wait a minute. When the hell did that happen? Just now.
You have no doubt heard of a legendary red diamond. The diggers call Mommy Water Steer. Oh, jeez. Mommy Water Steer. Every two-bit hustler in West Africa has been trying to sell me that thing at one time or another. I am talking about something real. A million dollar stone that's here in Nafadu. A million dollar stone mm. here in Nafadu. You better start wearing a hat when you go out in the sun. Perhaps. But I swear a poacher found it two days ago. Yesterday I sent him a reasonable offer. His life for the diamond. He denied he had it. Everyone comes to you sooner or later. You bring me mommy water steer. I would hate to see you end up with a poacher's fate. my truck.
Uh, uh, you hit me! Damn right I hit you. You slugged me! I'll slug anybody who tries to steal my truck. Here's the road to Raza, lady. Start walking. Come on. I'll pay you. <laughs> you tried that one already. Not with this. What the hell is this? Open it up. Get the truck. Close the door. Holy mother of God. Where the hell did you get this? That man who was killed. Anybody else know about it? No. You better damn well be sure about that. I'm sure. Henry Pickett cut off all travel permits into and out of this area because some big diamond is supposed to be missing in this vicinity. Henry wants it back real bad. No, I'm not saying this is the same stone, but it just might oh, be. Oh, come on. I think we both know it is. How much is it worth? Oh, don't get all moist about it, all right, lady? We're not in some shopping center in Cleveland now. I mean, it's uncut, it's unpolished. Loaded with impurities. I'd say it's worth about 5000 Yeah. I find that a little difficult to believe. I think I know a little bit more about this than you do, lady. What if I give you a share of it? They call you trader. Let's trade. One trip to Raza for... I'll be generous. 10% of the diamond. <laughs> it's not worth it. All right. 25%. Lady, you just bought yourself a one-way trip to Raza. No guarantees. Uh, hey, hey, hey. I'll hold on to that until we get there. Thank you. Can I ask you a question, lady? What makes you so sure I won't take you out in the bush, rip that thing from around your pretty little neck, and stake you out for the hyenas? I'm a surgeon. I can carve up a man like a Thanksgiving turkey. <laughs> Fair enough. Just one more thing. This truck is a 1948 Bedford. This is the best goddamn truck ever built. And nobody, not even my little white-haired old mother, drives this truck except for me. Do you understand? All right, jump out. Get your luggage, lady. We gotta get going. I wouldn't rest my prayers on him.
calculating, Mr. Marsh. Oh, really? Uh, yes. We've been averaging about 20 miles an hour, so at that rate, we should be able to be in Rasa by tomorrow evening. Yeah. You like rock and roll, Schweitzer? Uh, yeah, sure. Good, because I'd hate to spend the next month in a bush with someone who doesn't like rock and roll. say the going price for tobacco out here is about two more percentage points on the diamond. You're all hard. Uh, here. On the house, Schweitzer. Gee, thanks. What exactly are you planning to do when you get to run, Schweitzer? There's a hospital there. I'm going to get medical supplies and gamma globulin and go back and try and treat the tribe. Is this all part of your responsibilities with the Ministry of Health? Not exactly. I just said that because I thought it would make you want to help me. I work with a volunteer organization from the States. Oh. Anything else you want to know about me? Oh, no, Schweitzer. Hell no. No, I know everything there is to know about you now. Oh, really? Yeah, really. So you work in some fancy-ass hospital stateside, huh? Yeah, you got a beautiful condo. Buy a new Mercedes every year, all right? Get your facts straight. I drive a BMW. Uh, whatever. So, one night after a, a long, hard day with nose jobs, and facelifts, and hemorrhoidectomies, you're laying at home, watching the latest rock concert for poor, diseased Africans, huh? Bingo, you say. That's it, that's it. That's what I'm missing from my life. Africa, the dark continent, new diseases, real medicine. <laughs> no more gallbladders and kidney stones. <laughs> yeah. So you buy yourself a ticket to the third world. <clears throat> you hang your shingle outside your Abercrombie and Fitch tent. And here you are. So how'd I do, Schweitzer? I must really threaten you. <laughs> the weather threatens me, lady. That damn government bureaucrats threaten me. 
You don't threaten me. You don't threaten me. Oh, my, aren't we macho? You're damn right. I'll give you six months, Schweitzer. Six months. You'll have your little ass hauled right out of here. Oh, really? And what about you? What brings you to Africa, Jungle Jim? <sighs> ah, guys like me don't have reasons, lady. We just end up in places. Oh. Who are they? They are the local police. Normally, they're harmless, but they're going to want to see our travel permits. Which, in case you forgot, we don't have any. All right, look, let me handle this, OK? You climb in there. There's a blanket underneath the front seat. Put it around your head. What for? You, for one time, do what I ask you without asking what for. You want to get the riser, don't you? Hey, how are you? Everybody, Sarge. Yeah? No one passes this place, Treader. Yeah, easy, 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 Sarge. You got me all wrong. See, I'm not carrying anything this time. I'm empty. I'm doing some missionary work. But don't you know who this is? This is the, uh, the world famous Mother Teresa. See, I'm taking her to Raza. She has to pick up a half a dozen lepers. I have orders to search you, Treader. Hey, no problem. Oh, problem. Listen, there's a couple of cases of whiskey in the back. You fellas help yourselves, okay? Turn and face the truck. Okay. 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 No sweat. I've got everything under control. Dang it! Oh, you're looking for Mommy Water's tear. You got it? <laughs> search him. And search her. Mother Teresa, too.
I'm sure you can handle it. I'm a little busy back here. I've been meaning to ask you about this, this swelling I have up here once in a while. Would you mind taking a look at it, please? Doesn't look like much to me. Oh. Oh, easy. So how are you doing? How's your head? I feel great. That was exciting. Yeah. Good. Then you won't mind increasing my cut to 30%. Oh, wait a second, Buster. We had a deal. Uh, lady, I took off without a travel permit. I just resisted arrest. I'm a dead man in this country, don't you understand? I'm a fleeing felon. This is my going out of business sale. That's not my fault. <laughs> I saved your ass back oh. then. Yeah, what do you think those policemen were going to do when they searched Mata Teresa and found Mata Wada's tear? 40%. How about 40%? Okay, fine. I don't care. Take what you want. 50%. I'll give you 30. Deal. Ah! Ah! You did that on purpose. Any more time. Oh, Robert. well, thank you very much for pointing that out, Schweitzer. Do you have any suggestions? It's a belt. Don't you have a spare? That was the spare. Great. I thought I was out here with a man who knew everything there was to know about survival. I would use your goddamn vocal cords if I didn't think they were just about worn out. What? What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? People have needs. You have needs. I have what needs. What are you doing? I'm doing. 
I'm fulfilling one of my needs. Get so away from me. What I need right now is your goddamn belt. Son of a bitch. Don't flatter yourself. Around here, a lot of old timers will tell you what you need in a situation like this is a piece of rope. But I prefer women's belts. You jerk. <laughs> you think it'll work? I think it'll work. If I had a nickel for every time it worked, I wouldn't be busting my ass out in the bush here with you. All right, jump in. Turn it over. Let's see. Take it easy now. Easy with it. I said it had been done. How many women's belts do you think you find in this part of the world anyway, you dummy? Sorry, dinner was so basic, Schweitzer. I didn't get a chance to do any shopping in Nepadu. Please don't apologize, Mr. Marsh. Compared to my diet of late of crickets and worms, the beans were divine. <laughs> How's your leg? My leg hurts like hell. You warm enough? I'm freezing, thank you. But I'll survive. I can never get over the cold in Africa. I was prepared for the heat, but the cold always surprises me. Well, that's Africa, all right. Full of surprises. You spent ten years of your life bitching about the place. It's too hot. It's too cold. It's too dry. It's too goddamn primitive. And you wake up one morning and it's not primitive enough. It's all changed. It's all gone. All you can think about is the way it used to be. <laughs> uh, I'm getting too old for this crap anyway. I've been thinking about packing it in for a couple of years now. Thanks to you, Schweitzer. I no longer have any choice. What really brought you to Africa? I used to be in the construction business. About a hundred years ago. I was working for a company that was trying to develop a mine outside of Nepadu. They went belly up after a couple of years. And by then, I had other reasons for wanting to stay. Diggers me. Can I try some? Well, I don't know if it's such a good idea, Schweitzer. 
supposedly it's it's made out of sugarcane beer and engine coolant. Pretty powerful stuff. I'm game. Yeah. Be my guest. Very impressed. Mm, feels good. Yeah, it was supposed to feel good. You mind? I know. I like civilization. Uh, yeah, I don't. I know. Why is that? I mean, you're not a complete primitive. What is keeping you here? You know something, Switcher? You. You really do talk entirely too much. Especially in times like these. Now that's much better. Don't flatter yourself. Sleep well, Mr. Marsh. Mine's bigger. Do you want some aspirin? Just shut up. Yes. Not my fault. Did I say it was your fault? I got a friend who lives about 18, 20 miles from here. He's got a farm. He'll have some gas. What's it going to cost me? Another 10%? How about an hour's worth of silence? Uh. 
Sammy. How are you, Trader? Sammy. Say hello to Schweitzer. Grace Danner. Grace. Grace Danner. This is Jimmy Banner. Pleased to meet you. Nice to meet you. And this is his son, Nelly. Grace. So what are you doing at my place, huh? He only comes to see me when there's big trouble breathing down his neck. Yeah, well, you're right this time, Jimmy. I'll tell you all about it. Mommy, what a tear, she a troublesome stone. Valentin, he not rest till he catch you. Yeah, I know, it's a long shot, Jimmy. I've got no choice, I only take it out of here. <sighs> I think you should stay here tonight. Yeah, we can, we gotta keep moving. Listen. There's gonna be a big storm soon. Maybe Jimmy's right. And your leg could use the rest. We'd love to, Jimmy. Great. Then it's settled, huh? Good morning. Did you sleep well? Like a baby. Have you been out here all night? Just watching out for leopards. How long have you and Sam known each other? Oh, maybe 15 years. We worked on the mines together. That time he married my sister. Where is she? She's here. Come on, Schweitzer, we gotta move. How did they die? They were coming back from Nepadu. It was the rainy season. There was a river and a bridge. It fell from under them. Mami Wata, she only let Sam go. I'm sorry. Mara and the child, they have found peace with God a long time ago. It's Sam who worries me. When I find my diamond, I buy all this. A traitor. This is no place for him, and he knows that. But he cannot leave. He cannot leave the woman. Samuel is a good man, but he suffers in his soul. You watch out for the big man, eh, traitor? I'll watch out. Good. Thanks. Like Jimmy. Best friend I've ever had. This is a very special place. It's easy to see how it would get a hold on you. I know it's going to be hard for you to leave here. 
Up Schweitzer, do me a favor, would you? Just leave it alone. How much further? Well, once we reach the main road, it's about another hundred miles. We'll be in the Kangara Hills pretty soon. After that, it's an easy run into Raza. We can make it across, unless the water gets a lot higher, but it's the mud I'm worried about. I've got an idea. Really? Why don't we use the metal planks on the side of the truck, lay them down for leverage? Well, that's a very good idea, Schweitzer. In fact, it's such a good idea, I'm going to let you move the planks while I drive the truck. <laughs> Wait to die till you prove it a tough fight? Oh, shut the hell up! The 
Pandito has lived and died for 5,000 years before you came along. You selfish, unfailing bastard! Huh. People are dying, do you understand? I could be dying for all you can. All you think about is yourself! At least I don't bullshit myself, lady. At least I know who I am and what the hell I'm doing here. What the hell do you think you're doing? I'm trying to help you. Uh, oh, shit! You want to help yourself? Fuck you all warm and fulfilled and righteous. How uh, about yourself? So you, so you spend a lousy six months over here playing great white doctor. You know something? You people from the States are all the same. You don't give a damn about the Africans. You come over here to play God. Get yourself a little cheap therapy. At least they're trying to do something. What the hell are you doing? You're exploiting people. The traitor. If you take the beer, some guns maybe. And then you can walk around and act like a big shot. No. Nah. No, wrong, lady, wrong. I'm a truck driver. A truck driver, that's all I am. But you know something? This is my home. This is where I work. This is where I live. Where the hell are you live? You want to know what I think? I think you justify your nasty behavior and your selfishness by keeping yourself carefully wrapped in this survival guilt you supposedly feel. But you're just a coward. You know, it's not that hard to stay devoted to a woman who's dead. Look, I know I said some things that were pretty mean. Uh, I guess we both got kind of crazy. Uh, look, Schweitzer, why don't we just declare a truth? Please stop calling me that. I have a name. Grace Stanett. Do you understand? Grace. I'm sorry, Grace. Look, I know how important this is to you, but... You don't know the half of it. The Kandinko have put a curse on me. What do you mean, a curse? You heard me. They're going to make me go blind or something. That's why I have to get back there. Is it a Nyane curse or a Komei curse? Komei. That's too bad. Why? Well, if it was a Nyane curse, you could pretty much ignore it, but the Komei... I mean, I've known of old villages just falling down and dying when the Komei are after them. Oh, God, I can't believe you're saying this. You mean I am going blind? Grace. Oh, God, I knew I was going blind. Ah, you're an intelligent, sophisticated woman. All you got to do is get the medical supplies to the Kantinka, then remove the curse. They've and... got my glasses. And you'll never have to buy a seeing eye door. How many fingers am I holding up? I'm funny. Don't be silly. Look, sun is out. The river will be down in a few hours. We'll get the truck started. We'll be in Raza in no time. And then, Grace Dennett, you can go and save the Kantenka. I promise you. Valentin. I'm glad to see you, my brother. Now we are brothers. Didn't I tell you that one day Treader and me would be brothers? 
All right, all right. Look, let's not have any misunderstandings here. Huh? There's no misunderstanding, Trader. Hey. Hey. Hey, easy with her, last one. Leave her alone, Valentine. Leave her alone. It's between you and me. She's got nothing to do with this. Oh, sweet. Now, give me mommy what I steal. <laughs> you know, Valentine, you're not going to believe this. She, she threw it in the river. You're right, I don't. What good is a traitor if he's not a thief and a liar? Ah! Don't beg me to kill you, traitor. Wait. I've got it. You do? Go oh, listen to her. She's lying. She doesn't look like a liar. Yeah. That's why I say you never cease to amaze me. Magnificent. I've never seen a diamond as beautiful as this. All right, you've got what you want. Now let us go. No, I don't think so. Please! He didn't even know I had it. So much the better. He will die without a guilty conscience. What the hell is he up to now? Rest assured that I will see the diamond safely to Rasa, brother. Hey, Valentin. Listen, when you get the money for the stone, do yourself a favor. Buy yourself a good hairpiece. Obviously, Mommy Waters' tear is worth about ten times what you told me. I'm a liar. I'm a liar. That's, 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 that's very funny coming from you. Actually, it's worth about a hundred times more than you told me. At a time like this, who gives a shit? Can you get your hands free? No. Wait a minute. Can you stand on one leg? In general or right this minute? Look, I'll do the jokes around here, all right? Can you stand on one leg? What and... for? What for? So I can maybe get the knife that you got jammed down in your boot, the one you tried to kill me with. Easy. Right, easy, very easy. I, I, I gotta get the pant leg on. You got it? Yeah, put your leg down slowly. Okay. I, I almost got it. I got it. You got it? I got it. You got it? I got it. I got to turn it around now. Wait a minute. Let me see which is the sharp edge. Yeah. A minute. Just a minute. <laughs> <laughs> No. No! <laughs> 
You know this tree. This tree is swarming with termites. That limb, the, the ropes are over, is, is covered with termites, and it, it looks pretty rotten to me. Look, we're finished one way or the other. What do you say? Let's see how strong that goddamn thing is. What do you say? You with me? Let's turn around and jump the other way because you get a better angle with the rope. Real careful. Real careful. Okay. So we'll jump together on the count of three. Easy, don't slip by. Okay. All right. Now, just strain your neck like this. There's much strength in doing it. Okay? Okay, now we're going to jump on three. Okay, we'll go. Huh? Ready? Okay, here we go. One, two, three. It worked. We did it. Grace, you got a lot of guts. Thanks, partner. Way too much gas. It never really ran right.
heads down for the night. Stick with me, kid. You get nothing but the best. <laughs> yeah, we'll be in Raza tomorrow. We made it in three days. I wouldn't have thought it possible. I always knew we could do it. <laughs> Sam? What? I think we ought to go after the diamond. Forget about the diamond, Grace. The Valentine's probably sold it already, anyway. Come on, you said it belonged to whoever lives long enough to sell it. Well, miraculously, we're still alive. We are? Yeah, we sure are. How else are we going to buy that ranch? You want to ride to Rasa, sir? Yeah, how much? Ten shillings each. Got a deal. Take it easy.
Skunked us. He's in there with his two buddies and all their hardware, and we got six lousy rounds. All right, now listen. I'm gonna try to get around on this side, all right? Now you do me a favor. You stay right here. You understand? You don't move. You stay right here. Two to go. Ah, let's let them chase us for a while. Do we have any choice? Uh, I want you to get over there and back to that old locomotive. Since I can't get you to stay here out of the way, this time you run and I'll cover you. Just like in the westerns. Yeah, right. Get moving, Sundance. <laughs> Actually, ever gonna use that thing? Looks right, so we got six bullets. Huh? Once we use these up, we throw rocks. Missed. Now you've got five.
Yeah. All right, now listen. This time you're gonna really have to stay here. You're gonna have to stay here and stay out of the way. Okay. You promise? Yeah. What the hell took you so long? Give me the knife. Come here. Give it to me. Come on. Come on. Yes. He was gonna kill you. You did what you had to do. You saved my life. Don't look at him. Listen, we gotta get the hell out of here. This place Your is... Arm. You're cut. This place is gonna be Let crawling with it. people in five minutes. Let me fix it! All right. No, nope. let me do it. You gotta get the diamond. You gotta get the diamond. It's still around his neck. All right, go on down there and get the diamond. Come on, we gotta move. You have to get stitches. I mean it. Yeah, I know. I know. You okay? I'm fine. Okay? I just don't want to talk about it. All right, all right. So, what do we do now? What about the diamond? Let me take care of the diamond. There's a guy here. He moves in and out of the black market. Now, he's going to be a little nervous with strangers, so maybe I better see him by myself. I'll tell you what, why don't you arrange for the medical supplies? I'll meet you at the airport in, say, two hours. What's the problem, Grace? What's the matter? You don't trust me now, huh? No, no. I trust you. You're sure? Okay. Sam? Yeah, I know. Me too. <laughs> but you don't have to say anything foolish. I wasn't gonna say anything foolish. No. Okay. Maybe I was. You know something, Schweitzer? How about for a change? We don't say anything at all. Doctor. 
Hello, Turcos. Samuel, I thought you were dead. <sighs> Just half dead. And Valentin? Valentin's last wish was that I bring Mommy Wada's tear to you. Thanks, God, for last wishes. Listen, Samuel. I told Valentin I'd only be able to pay him 30 cents on the dollar. Government doesn't take kindly to these matters. No, oh, 30 cents on the dollar would be just fine, Turcos. Well, let's see what you've got. What's this, some kind of a joke? Looks like you've been hurt. All right, how fast can you get me to the airport? Do you want fast or very fast? Very fast. OK. Ready to go, doctor? You're a difficult man to catch, Trader. Hello, Henry. My goodness. The crimes you have committed against the state. <laughs> if I hang you, all I will get from it is the money you have in your hand. If I were to forgive you your many trespasses, I will still have the money, but I will also have you. Now, here is what I shall do with all that money. First of all, I will let you have half. Then I will purchase an abundance of lovely things from Harrods. Then I will send you out, and you will buy your friend Henry a lovely Rolex watch. Henry, this could be the beginning of a beautiful friendship. <laughs>
How you doing? Yeah, it looks pretty good, doesn't it? Still a hunk of junk. I figured it was cheaper to fix it up than it was to buy a new one. So, is my bath ready? Ready and waiting. Uh, you so long. You stood me up. I decided to give you a second chance. I thought you were a wanted man. I worked out a deal with Henry. How the Kandinka do? Oh, I worked out a deal with the government. The Kandinko are going to have a hospital. Hmm. You know, you're in my bathtub. Well, take your clothes off and come on in. There's room for everybody.